So in my last video, I was working on this voltage divider. Mostly, I was picking the resistance on the negative side. The positive side has a thermistor which changes its resistance with temperature changes. Uh, so right now, at the voltage divider point, we have about 0.514 volts. Uh, about half a volt. On the uh, power rail, we have 9 volts with the 9 volt battery. Now, when I warm up the thermistor, you can see the voltage uh, goes up rapidly. And the goal is to get the voltage high enough to get a transistor to start conducting. And hopefully, the uh, starting voltage is low enough to keep a transistor off. That's what we're going to test in this video. So here we have the transistor in the board. This is a 2N2222, an NPN type transistor. Flat sides over here to the right. So at the bottom we have the emitter. In the middle we have the base. That's where the uh, resistor and the thermistor come together where we have the base. And up on top is the collector. The emitter is connected directly to ground. All of the current coming in to the transistor, either from the base or collector, ultimately comes out uh, ground. So everything is more positive or equal to ground. And on the collector side of the transistor, we have a protective resistor here. Since we're using a 680 ohm resistor over here, I just use a 680 ohm resistor here. You can use 470 or higher since we're using 9 volts. And we have an LED over here on the positive side. Instead of putting it after the resistor, I put it before the resistor to make it a little easier to see the components. Doesn't really matter. Long lead of the LED, the anode, comes to the positive rail. And this is going to be our load. We're going to see how much this uh, transistor is conducting as we change the voltage at the base. And now I have the multimeter plugged uh, back into the board with these uh, jumpers there clipped uh, to the probes of the meter and I plug the battery back in right there uh, so we have power again now I want to remind you there's always current flowing through a voltage divider so make sure you remove the battery when you're done it's also a good idea to remove the battery when you're adding and taking away components it's easy to short uh, something out but in any case right now we have about 0.523 uh, volts and there is a slight glow with the LED. So the transistor is not all the way off. But uh, for the most part it's off. There's a bit of leakage probably coming through the base of the transistor. Letting a bit of current go through the collector. But in any case, it's mostly off. So we're about where I would like to be. Now I'm going to warm up the uh, thermistor with my finger. And you see as the voltage rises, the LED quickly uh, brightens. So, I really like that. That's, uh, that looks really good there. And now, when I let go, you're going to see the voltage at the base drop and the LED slowly get more dim. Uh, but again, I, it's not really getting dim as quick as I would like. If you remember, it got bright really fast when we heat it up. So, we're going to reduce the resistance a little bit at this point and hopefully that'll drop it down enough where the LED doesn't have any current when the uh, thermistor isn't getting warmed up at all when it's at room temperature so now to reduce the resistance on the negative side a little bit to, to lower the voltage a little bit I put a 1 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the 680 ohm resistor and you can see that dropped the voltage too much even when I warm up the uh, thermistor you're going to see it doesn't even get to 0.5 volts. So we're going to need an even higher value resistor in parallel with the 680 ohm resistor. But that's one thing to remember. If you have a resistance that you almost like, but you need a slightly lower amount of resistance, you can take a high value resistor and put it in parallel with it. That'll have an extra little bit amount of current going through as if you have less resistance and that's the way the circuit will see it as a little less resistance so now I replace the 1 kilo ohm resistor with a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and you see with them in parallel remember that's a 680 ohm resistor next to it 
you can see it looks like there's no current going through the LED. I don't see a glow or anything. We have about 0.47 volts at the base. Now when I put the uh, thermistor between my fingers and warm it up, you see the LED quickly turns on and gets pretty bright. We have about 0.6 volts now at the base of the transistor and when I let go it dims pretty quickly and uh, as I showed before it will ultimately turn completely off as far as I can tell. 